welcome to another trip video. This time I'm going to the city of York, located in North Yorkshire, England. This city has its medieval settings thanks to the 13th century cathedral, the York Minster and the remains of the castle walls that holds together the center of the city. Also, I got some time to visit the National Railway Museum and to cruise around the city with a city cruise boat. As usual, I'm starting off by getting onto a train from Bradford and to travel to my trip location. So, as I arrived, my first place to visit is the National Railway Museum. I'm so happy that it's entirely free. I wouldn't miss this opportunity to see the big old steam trains and wagons that once ruled the railway tracks of old England. engine is unique, but here I found something that I never knew it really exists. Thomas, the tank engine. Wow, my niece grew up on the Thomas TV shows, so I know she would wish to be here now. Since I saw everything at the railway museum, it is time now to go to the river dock where the city cruise boats are. The boat cruise costed around £12.95 for a one hour trip. York has its big river, the River Ouse, that flows through the center of the city. I was able to see some old buildings, and from far I also saw the York Minster and bridges that have been built more than three to four hundred years ago. Also, thanks to the good weather, I really enjoyed some sunshine and the view of the nature. I 
After the boat trip, I got back to the city and started walking through the streets until I discovered the shambles. Well, the shambles are a small and narrow street that has many stores and restaurants. As I was looking at the structure and the architecture of the buildings again as usual, well the whole England reminds me, but yeah, so it reminded me the Harry Potter movies. I actually got a Dobby figure from one of the stores. Presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. The figure actually says Dobby is free, so yeah. Also, along the long hours walking, I really got tired and hungry, so I decided to eat at the house of the trembling madness. On purpose, I came here because of the mad name of the restaurant. Well, it was worth for a huge hamburger. I still had time in the city, so I walked down to the museum gardens. It was time to relax and enjoy the calm atmosphere of the place. The runes that I saw made me think how much effort needed to make these magnificent buildings, but it took almost nothing to destroy them. Well, it is sad how people and countries war against each other, but yeah, it's part of our lives. Well, I know some different kings ruled each city in the old England, but I was just curious if there was anybody whose name was Arthur.
Before going to the York Minster, I was thinking I should see it from the castle walls of the city. So I headed to the city walls. I had to go up on the stairs and start heading down on the walls all around the city. Well, it felt like I am one of the knights of King Arthur, but I knew I'm not in Camelot, but in York. So about York, this city is most famous for its cathedral, I think, the York Minster. To see it from the walls was really amazing. Here I am, at the final trip location, the York Minster. This cathedral is working up to date and it makes a great place for many people. For believers, for couples to meet, for tourists like me to gaze through the gorgeous architecture of the Minster. It's really breathtaking. Wow, it would have really taken my breath if there would have been time to climb up on the stairs of its tower. Wow, it was the end of the day. Time to get back home.